Understanding a shade under in English. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, a shade under. This phrase can be a bit tricky for learners, so we're going to break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to use it confidently in your conversations and writing. A shade under is an idiomatic expression used to indicate that something is slightly less than a particular amount or degree. It's often used in informal contexts to describe measurements, quantities, or even abstract concepts like time or quality. For example, he's a shade under six feet tall, meaning he's just a little shorter than six feet. The project took a shade under three months to complete meaning slightly less than three months. The word shade in this phrase is key. It's not about color, but rather it refers to a small amount or a slight degree of something. This usage dates back to when shade was used to mean a little bit of something like a small variation. In modern English, a shade under is used in casual conversations. It's more common in spoken English than in formal writing. Let's look at some examples to understand better how to use a shade under. 1. Weight and measurements. The package weighs a shade under 10 kilograms. 2. Time. We arrived a shade under 2 hours, beating the traffic. 3. Age. She's a shade under 30 years old. In each case, the phrase is used to subtly convey that the actual measurement is just slightly less than the stated figure. There are similar phrases like, just under, slightly less than, or nearly. While these can be used interchangeably in some contexts, a shade under has a more informal and conversational tone. I hope this video has shed some light on the phrase, a shade under, and how you can use it in your English conversations. Remember, it's a casual way to say something is slightly less than a particular amount. Keep practicing, and you'll be using it like a native in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.